Hey, it's a beautiful day here in central Oklahoma and the birds are singing, the breeze is blowing through the trees. It's early in the morning and I'm thankful uh, to be able to get out and enjoy it a little bit this morning before coming in and doing some teaching. Hey, welcome back to the journey. Uh, I read an interesting story of a man by the name of Dr. Evan O'Neill Kane. Uh, he was uh, a 60-year-old New York surgeon and he performed the first appendectomy using a local anesthetic. And it was pioneering and it was groundbreaking for the medical field. What's interesting is that this story has a twist. The twist is, is that he used the local anesthetic on himself and performed his own <laughs> appendectomy. I'm not sure that I could do that. I'm, I'm a little bit allergic to pain. But here's what I know is that as I look at his 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 groundbreaking accomplishment, it has saved the lives of many throughout the years. I, I think as leaders, we oftentimes think about the fact that we are leading others and our focus always and 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 rightly so, has oftentimes been outward, that we're focused on everybody else, what they are doing, how they are operating, how they are, are moving uh, forward in the company or in the church or wherever we're in, influence in. But what's, what's most important, though, is looking inwardly, that we look at ourselves and ask ourselves the tough questions. Are we being the leader that we are supposed to be? Are we, uh, are we a good fit within the leadership position that we have been placed? What's our personality? How's our giftedness? How do those play within the role that I'm playing in today? All of those questions need to be answered because if you're not a good fit personality-wise or giftedness-wise, or maybe uh, maybe that uh, you're not a good fit within uh, the, the structure of the organization, you look at it and you begin to ask the question inwardly first before you look outwardly at others. And I just want to encourage you today that regardless of where you're at, some will say, well, I'm not in leadership, but regardless of where you're at, you're an influencer to somebody else. And you have to ask yourself, am I leading them in such a way that is upright, uh, a way that is good, or am I, am I not a good fit within this leadership role and do I need to make a change? Regardless of where you're at in your leadership style, you've got to recognize that first you've got to look inward before you can look outward. And as you do so, you're going to be a better leader. I hope that you like this little leadership nugget of information, and I hope that you have a fantastic day. It's going to be a great day, um, so enjoy it. Today I'm teaching Oklahoma School of Ministry and talking about effective leadership with some of our students from across the state. I'm looking forward to hanging out with them for a little bit and talking about effective leadership because that's something that I've studied in my own life extensively and uh, it's it's great to be able to uh, visit with our students about that. So hope that you have a fantastic day. Enjoy your day. Get out and enjoy the sunshine and the cool breeze in the air uh, because I think it's supposed to get pretty hot later on today and even tomorrow. So, hey, have a great day. Here's the clicker. Hey, I want to encourage you, if you like this content and want more of it, to make sure and subscribe to this channel and like this video. Share it with your friends. Thanks.